Now, our next guests knew it was love at first sight when they met just eight months ago. The transgender couple now run a popular YouTube channel called That Trans Couple, which aims to educate people about the trans community and spread a message of love and acceptance. Jamie O'Hurley and Harry Matthews join us now to share their story. You are both very welcome this morning. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Jamie, I'm going to come to you first because I think it's probably a good idea to tell us a little bit about both of your journeys to where you are and then how you met and how the love story began. <laughs> so, Jamie, tell us a little bit about yourself and your journey to where you are now. Well, I suppose I came out in 2015 um, with my sister, who's also transgender. Um, and I suppose we had that discussion and we started on the, the path of our transition. Like, so all kind of 2016, I was socially transitioning, I suppose, living my life as a female, seeing if I was comfortable and if it felt right. And was that tough? No. That's great <laughs> no, to hear, it, isn't I it? I mean, yeah. you think it would be, but at the start it was, like when I was trying to find my own style and what I yeah. liked and stuff, and then it just became kind of second nature, you know, so. Helpful to have somebody to do it with. Oh, absolutely. Like, Did oh. yourself and your sister know you were both going through this? Did you ever speak about it to each other? I kind of figured because she started presenting a lot more like feminine. And I was like, Chloe, do you think you're transgender? <laughs> she was like, I don't know, like maybe. What about you? I was like, yeah, I think it's something that uh, yeah, I need to come out and just say that I'm trapped in a body, you know? So I think that's kind of how it all started. Now, you had total support at home. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Which uh, makes a huge difference. difference. Huge, yeah. huge yeah. difference. Because, I mean, look, no matter who you are, what you are, the world's a tough place. Yeah. And finding out where you belong in it and what you are and what your path and your journey is going to be is different for everybody, right? Yeah. Now, you've added a few more difficulties <laughs> to that yeah. because society hasn't quite yet got its head around all no. of that. So if, you, if you've got a loving support base at home, well, then... You can always retreat there if the world is unkind to you, but it's also a great place to launch yourself into the world from. So your, 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 your parents or your mum certainly must have been um, hugely influential in this. Yeah, absolutely. Like our mum is so accepting of everyone. She's so like, she's just so open and kind and caring. So to be raised in that, it was like, well, if I do come out as transgender, I'm not going to be turfed out. You know, I'm not going to be rejected. Um, I'm going to be loved the same as long as I'm happy, healthy, not hurting anyone. You know? That's great because not a lot of people who've been through what you're going through have had that experience. Yeah. And for your mum to accept both of you and just go, yeah, no problem. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it was tough for her. Yeah. You know, she's yeah. like, oh my God, what's going to happen? Do you know, all the surgeries, all she the... She was worried about you guys. Yeah, of yeah, course. Of course. Motherly instinct, yeah. you know. And she's worried about what kind of crap the world's going to throw at you. Because oh, that's what parents absolutely. do. Absolutely, you know? yeah. She was... And by the way, that never stops. No, no, it doesn't. But... We're strong, you yeah. know. You are strong, you are strong. <laughs> Harry, let's talk to you. Harry, you're, yeah. you're, you're actually, you that you're... you're family story is, is different to Jamie's yeah. in that sense, yeah. isn't it? You, you didn't get that level of acceptance or, or am I overstating that? No, I'm pretty much the opposite of what Jamie had. Um, I started presenting more masculinity in 2010 um, because of how I was showing myself. Um, I actually ended up homeless because my mum just didn't accept it at all. Um, then I Did finally... Did she throw you out, Harry? She made it not bearable to live with, um, that I'm it so was sorry. very hostile yeah. situation to be in and I had to get myself out of there for my own mental health. But then once I left, I came into myself and started accepting my gender identity and came out to everyone else in 2012 and then started my journey. So I've been transitioning for about four years. Reading in the notes, Harry, you, you haven't encountered any prejudice whatsoever outside of your immediate family, have you? No, and that's what makes it really unfortunate that your own family can act like that, but it's something that definitely happens to a lot of people in the LGBT community. So I've dealt with it, and it's just part of my story now. Now, both of you had kind of decided, you know, maybe love isn't for me, I'm just going to work on myself, you know, because it's, it's, it's a lot of stuff going on. So you're both single, life was carrying on, and you both signed up to this workshop, Jamie. What was the workshop involving? It was like a training, kind of one-week training course okay. for trans people or non-conforming people, just to kind of... Non-conforming people? Yeah, you know. Interesting, I haven't heard yeah. that term. Yeah. Like non-binary or whatever. Sure. So, um, so yeah, I think me and Chloe were doing the media and we didn't have enough knowledge. So I wanted to go and just kind of learn more about myself and about other people and their gender identity, gender expression, so... So you met at this course. Yeah. Was it bolt of lightning situation or what happened? <laughs> who saw who first? I think we both saw each other on social media yeah. first. On social media yeah. first, yeah. so it wasn't at the course. Century, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> it was a event page for the course that we were kind of scrolling through the attendees, and then we caught each other's like 
profiles caught each other's eye over that, but then once we locked eyes on each other at the actual event, it was like, okay, this is a real person that I actually like. Did you ever think you'd find the sort of love? Because an awful lot of trans people find it very difficult to find relationships and to fall in love and mm -hmm. to have a genuine bona fide relationship that they can count on and make a serious commitment to. So it must be a very joyous thing for both of you to have found each other. I just think, like, it's amazing. Like, it makes me believe in fate. Do you know, I, I went there for a reason. To learn about myself, yes, but then, you know, the world brought me Harry and... Yeah, it's weird. I couldn't imagine my life without And anyone. are people completely accepting you as a couple? Have you had any kind of backlash? How are people when you go out and about? Do people react to you in a positive way? If we tell them we're transgender, they'll be like, oh my God, that's so cool. And they'll turn to Harry and say, oh, never expected. <laughs> you know, so... Is that the reaction people say to Harry, never expected? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then we do have stuff online and, you know, but it's just about looking past those comments. Can I, mm. can I um, ask you about the wider world and how it views you. Mm -hmm. um, we're still learning how to actually talk about this. Yeah. Um, and, and a lot of people are very confused yeah. uh, about, um, and, and even the language. I mean, I, I'm not entirely sure, and I've been doing this for 17 years, I'm not entirely sure what is the right language or appropriate language to use when I'm talking to you or when I'm interviewing you or what questions I can and can't ask you because I don't want to offend you, mm. you know, and I want to treat you as equally as I possibly can. So uh, can you explain to us how we should do that? I suppose it's just taking us as another human that you meet. Yeah, absolutely. Like looking past gender. If you say something and it might be wrong or it might offend us, mm. then we'll, we'll tell you. And, but and how you do, can... okay, that's right. How do I look past gender? See, that's it, we need to let go. We are obsessed with boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl, and it's putting everyone so, in those boxes. Yeah. You just need to let go of that and go, hey, you're a person. Yeah. yeah, and I suppose with pronouns and stuff, I mean, maybe if you do take us at face value, um, girl, boy, then that's cool. And if you say it, like she or him, and we're but like... But if I say oh, to you, she, am I, am I rude or am I wrong? Am no, I offending you? No, that's, that's okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm Jamie's female. a woman, yeah. yeah. And Harry the same. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. a man, so he, okay. him. It's as simple as that. Do you, why we do, do you yeah. understand why people, and I'm not talking about generationally, but people in general are going, okay, well, because they don't want to offend. Yeah. And they, you want to go, well, we want to give you the same chance everybody else has. Yeah. So how do we do that? But I think people think we're like easily offended, but I've actually got really thick skin. So if you were to come Well, you kind of have to have a thick skin, don't you? Of course you, you yeah, do, yeah. yeah. So if you came up to me and you were like, oh, oh, it was nice to meet him or whatever, you know, I'd be like, no, no. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, um, but that's me. And then you have other people who might be completely opposite to me and say they're feminine looking, but they are he, him. Okay, yeah. So it is confusing. Absolutely, we'll hold our hands up and say that. But in me and Harry's case, I don't think it is. What mm. would you say to people who are watching this morning who think they may be trans and are really struggling with it and don't know where to turn and don't know what to do? Because it is a very difficult thing. I mean, whether you're coming out as gay or mm. lesbian is one thing. To come out as trans is tougher, I think, for people in this world. What, would you, what advice would you give to teenagers out there or even parents who, mm. whose children have said to them, I think I might be trans? <laughs> I think it's two different things. Yeah. Like, obviously, personally, I think it's just about taking the time for yourself, doing that work on yourself, finding yourself, and then just sticking to who you know you are. You know that kind of way? And even if society tells you you're wrong or whatever, if you feel good about it on the inside, keep going. With parents, it, it depends. Yeah. If children come up and say, like, at the age of three or four, mommy, I'm a boy, or mommy, I'm a girl, it's, it's very tricky. You know, you don't want to push them into transitioning, but then again, you don't want to ignore it. So. It's really about just looking out for each and every sign, maybe. The, the word trans, actually, uh, is, is interesting in, that, in how it's used here, because mm -hmm. it's transgender, mm -hmm. it's transitioning, it's transforming. Mm -hmm. um, so which of those, do all three of those apply? Or, or is there one of those words that actually goes to the heart of this journey that you're on? I mean, I would say transitioning yeah. is probably the main mm. one that we would say because we were something, we became something else. But I know trans is an umbrella term and many people use it for many different things. But mm. personally, we would just say transitioning because I was born female and I can admit that. But I've transitioned clearly to a man and it's a journey that I've been on. Um, guys, from a press perspective, you've put yourself into the spotlight. Mm -hmm. uh, why did you guys choose to do that? I think it kind of started with me and Chloe where we didn't really have anyone to look up to or to, we had no role models yeah. in, in Ireland or the UK. They're all in America. Yeah, so, it's true, yeah. So I suppose we, 
we maybe wanted to be that that person for somebody else to say, oh my God, I'm just like them, you know? I mean, in America, I think it's very sensationalized at the moment. It's very Caitlyn Jenner, and yeah. it's very all about money. If you have money and you go in and, you know, it's done, it's not like that. Me and Chloe come from poor backgrounds, you know? It's hard, it's gonna be a really hard journey, and that's what we wanted to show people. Um, and I suppose, yeah, and then me and Harry just wanted to continue that on and turn around and just say, love is everywhere. Is, that, is it very important for people to understand that this isn't some sort of fashionable you know, phase or lifestyle that you're kind of, oh yeah, well look, I'll, you know, I'll, like, like in the 80s, you know, wear a ponytail and wear a leather jacket, play three chords, you'll be in a rock band, that's grand. If it doesn't work out, I'll go back to my job in advertising yeah. and banking. This is your life and yeah. this is the way things are going to be. And there is no route map for it yet, is there? No. Everybody has their own journey to go on mm. and their own transition. Some people don't even medically transition. But for me, say, like I just started my testosterone blockers. Now I'll never be able to produce, you know, um, testosterone mm -hmm. or, or even sperm again. And that's, that's a life altering thing. Like you're, you're setting yourself aside for that, you know? And if you make a quick judgment of, oh, I'm transgender, and then you go along that journey and then think, oh my God, I'm not. You, that's, that, that privilege yeah. is gone. Like, I don't you know? think anybody makes that journey without having thought about it long and hard because you have to go through counselling. You know, it's, exactly. it's not just a, oh, I think I'll try this. Yeah. You know, no, it's, it's tough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Definitely not a choice. Like, I would not have went down this path if I did not have to. Yeah. So anyone who thinks it's a fad or you just did it to be different or unique, definitely not the case. Like, I wouldn't choose this for anyone if it's they didn't have to path. go down it. Yeah. Guys, well, what look. does the future hold, actually? Family? Yes. Marriage? Who Maybe. knows? Who knows? It's early Maybe. days. We'll see. That's you just the Irish nosiness. So I'll ask any couple of that. Guys, absolutely. thank you very much for uh, coming on this morning. No, Pleasure to meet you both. Actually, we just want to wish you all the very best and happiness, which Aww. is, you know, which, is, which everybody is entitled to. Thank you, guys. I'm, I'm okay. thrilled you found each other. <laughs> what are the chances of that? Guys, thank you very much. Now thank we're going to take a break. Join us for more Ireland AM. See you in a few.